The James Webb Space Telescope has just confirmed something that should not be possible. It began as a whisper, not from a distant galaxy, but from the numbers themselves. For decades, we believed the universe obeyed a single set of rules, timeless and unchanging, written in the very fabric of reality. But now, the rules no longer agree with each other. Two of humanity's most powerful eyes, the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb, have peered deep into the cosmos, chasing a question that has haunted astronomers for years. And the answer they found is not just unsettling, it is impossible. The rate at which the universe expands, the heartbeat of the cosmos, is faster when we measure it nearby and slower when we measure it in the deep past. It is as if there are two universes, one ancient and calm, one modern and restless. For years, many suspected this was just a mistake a flaw in our instruments, a smudge on the lens of our cosmic vision. But now, James Webb has erased that hope. The discrepancy is real. The universe is lying to us, or we have been lying to ourselves. And if the laws of physics can change, what else possible? might be broken? To understand the scale of this problem, you have to imagine two different versions of reality. One belongs to the ancient universe, frozen in the afterglow of the Big Bang. The other belongs to the universe we see today, filled with galaxies, stars, and planets. When astronomers measure the expansion rate of the early cosmos, using the faint relic radiation known as the cosmic microwave background, they find a calm and predictable universe. It expands at about 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The numbers are precise the model elegant, but when we measure the expansion here and now, using nearby galaxies, exploding supernovae, and the rhythmic pulse of Cepheid stars as cosmic mile markers, the universe appears restless. The rate jumps to 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This is not a small difference. It is like timing the heartbeat of a living thing and discovering that it is racing, even though all the records from its birth say it should be slower. For years, scientists suspected the faster heartbeat was just a trick of the instruments, especially with Cepheid stars. These pulsating beacons are bright, but often buried in the glare of other stars or obscured by interstellar dust. Any small error in measuring them could ripple through the entire calculation of the universe's size and age. That is why the work of Adam Rees matters so deeply here. Winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics, Rees has spent decades perfecting the art of measuring cosmic distances through Cepheids and supernovae. His team has pushed the precision of these measurements to levels once thought impossible. With James Webb's infrared vision, Rees and his collaborators could pierce through the dust, isolating the light of over a thousand Cepheids in multiple galaxies. The result was a clean, high-resolution dataset, one that could finally answer whether the discrepancy was real or just an illusion. And when the web data was compared to decades of Hubble's observations, the numbers matched perfectly. No calibration error, no optical illusion. The tension between the two universes is real. And if both measurements are correct, then something fundamental is missing from our understanding of the cosmos, something powerful enough to alter the universe's expansion over billions of years. In science, when the data refuses to fit the model, you have two choices. You can question the data, or you can question the model itself. The James Webb has made the first option almost impossible, and Adam Rees has been central in closing that door. By combining Hubble's decades of optical data with Webb's unparalleled infrared precision, his team removed every major source of doubt. Light pollution from nearby stars, interstellar dust, distorting brightness, calibration errors between telescopes, all gone. What remained was a clear, undeniable signal. The local universe is expanding faster than the early universe's blueprint says it should. If the early universe and the modern universe are truly expanding at different rates, then something must have changed in the cosmic engine that drives it all, and the possibilities are as thrilling as they are unsettling. Some cosmologists believe the culprit could be dark energy, the mysterious pressure that seems to push space itself apart. In the standard model, it is constant, 
a silent background force that has been the same since the dawn of time. But what if it isn't constant? What if dark energy has been growing stronger, slowly accelerating the cosmic expansion more and more as billions of years pass? Others point to something stranger, a new form of matter that we have never detected. These hypothetical particles would be invisible, undetectable by any of our current instruments, interacting only through gravity. They could subtly distort the expansion rate, bending the universe's path in ways our equations can't predict. And then there are those willing to aim their questions at the unshakable giant of modern physics, Einstein's general relativity. For over a century, relativity has described gravity with perfect precision, from the orbits of planets to the warping of light by massive galaxies. But the Hubble tension may be a hint that gravity changes its behavior on the largest scales. For Reese, the conclusion is inescapable. The numbers are not lying. The instruments are not failing. The problem is deeper, embedded in the very fabric of cosmology itself. What if the laws of nature themselves are not fixed? What if they are fluid, shifting over time, like the phases of a living organism? Imagine living inside a reality that is not carved in stone, but written in water. Its rules changing slowly and silently, too gradually for any single generation to notice. The universe would not be a perfect clock, but a restless, evolving entity. And if that is true, then nothing we know, not even the foundations of mathematics and physics, can be considered eternal. For centuries, humanity has treated the laws of physics as the ultimate map of reality. Every equation, every measurement, another line drawn on the chart of the known, a map we believed was final, complete. The Hubble tension is a tear in that map, a place where the paper curls back to reveal a darkness beyond where the charted territory ends and the unknown begins. Adam Rees has spent much of his life refining this map. From his Nobel-winning work on the accelerating universe to the painstaking measurements of cepheids and supernovae, his career has been devoted to tracing the edges of what we know. And yet, this time, the edge stared back at him. His team's results leave no room for easy explanations. The numbers are solid. The instruments agree. The contradiction is not an artifact of our vision. It is part of the universe itself. The constant of Hubble is more than just a number. It is the ruler by which we measure time, distance, and the very history of the cosmos. If that ruler bends, then the story we tell about the universe bends with it. Perhaps we are living in a moment of transition, an era when the deep machinery of the cosmos is shifting gears. Perhaps this has happened before, countless times, across billions of years. Changes so slow that no single civilization could ever witness the before and after. Or maybe this is something new, something the universe has never done before. Reese's measurements may one day be remembered not just as a refinement of cosmic precision, but as the first undeniable clue that the universe is not the static, eternal clockwork we once imagined. It is something wilder, more alive, more unpredictable. And if reality itself can change, what does that make us? Fragile observers or passengers in a vessel whose course we will never control. In the end, numbers are supposed to bring clarity. They are meant to strip away mystery, to turn uncertainty into knowledge. But this time, the numbers have only deepened the shadows. Adam Rees and his team have shown us that the universe is not expanding the way it should. And that means the story of the cosmos is not finished. It is still being written in ways we do not yet understand. Perhaps we will find that dark energy is changing, reshaping the fate of everything. Perhaps new particles hidden in the dark are pulling the strings of reality, or perhaps the laws of nature themselves are alive, evolving over time like the universe they govern. We may not get the answers soon, but in the silence between the stars, in the quiet drift of galaxies through the void, there is a promise. The universe will keep revealing itself, one impossible truth at a time. Until then, we watch, we measure, we listen. Because somewhere out there, in the darkness beyond our map, the next revelation is already moving toward us. If you too want to hear it when it arrives, stay here with us. Subscribe, leave a trace. And if you wish to support this channel, you can become a member.
Exclusive content for members will soon be released right here. Because reality has just reminded us, it is far stranger than we ever imagined.